Hello, um, sorry I haven't been uploading much, uh, I've been just more focusing on studies lately and, uh, other things, uh, school related, plus I haven't had any motivation to paint, I've been having a lot of stress at school, so, uh, I didn't have much time to paint, but I have finally been able to paint, uh, my limber and horse, Russian horse artillery, artillery, so I'm just gonna showcase my, uh, Russian artillery I've done, uh, so, um, I'm, Sure, if you're subscribed, you've seen this before. It's my 12 pounder. I mean, uh, <laughs> my 20 pounder Litecorn. Um, actually, the reason I don't have the other uh, 12 pounder that I had before is I sold it off. Um, I just don't like the Warlord sculpts, and plus, it's too, it's way too big to be 12 pounder. It's like a 30 pounder, I don't know. But yeah, so, got this from Paris. I just, um, if you want to see like a more in depth uh, look at this, uh, I have a few videos with this. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. That's pretty cute. You know, I'm using my new painting basing method. Um, if you're interested, I could show you how I do it. It's pretty straightforward. But, yeah. Um, then I have my horse artillery. You guys haven't seen this before, so it'd be interesting. So, uh, there you go. From Perry, best metal uh, brand. In my opinion, um, apart from like maybe Calpe or um, man, I sound so uh, American when I said that, but you know, Calpe miniatures and um, what is it? Uh, front rank. Those are pretty good, but uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> getting on a tangent. Uh, so yeah. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Um, show every side. Here's how it. Zoom it in a bit. It's pretty chill video. I feel like I haven't made that many interesting videos lately. So, just decided to make a... There you go. It's quite scary. If I do say so myself. So, alright. We'll move these out of the way. For a big reveal. And that is... Um... Eh. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Please. <laughs> Uh, my Russian number, uh, horse artillery number. This comes off, um, because it's like, this is detached. So, if you view it's awesome, um, miniature. I seriously suggest you get it from Perry. Just at least it, just try to paint something new. Just, it's a fun thing to paint. I'm trying out new, uh, browns. I have a bunch of, I don't remember his name. I think it was like, uh, uh, Loki something. So sorry, I don't remember his name. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll try to link a vid his the videos, uh, his videos in the description. But he basically what he does is that he does like uh, painting tutorials for horses, and he's done like eighty of them. I'm sure, a lot of you have seen him. He is amazing. I've been using trying to use his uh, weird brown techniques for these horses because you know they're Russian. They're pretty boring. They're not like the you know extravagant Austrian and French horses. So, the other one muted, not like, you know, the blacks and browns and the beiges, or not the beiges, you know, uh, yellow and whatever. Um, so, yeah, just a little look at the artillery. Interested. I can also tell you how I painted my artillery if you're interested, although I'm not the best at it, so I'm not going to be offended if you think these look like crap, but, you know. I suck at painting artillery just because I have the worst metal, so I use these really trashy um, army painter things because basically uh, um, here in the U.S. we order our paints from Amazon, and these things take like a freaking month to get here, even though um, I'm not sure if you guys use it as much, but basically I ordered a gunmetal, oh, <laughs> basically I got gunmetal, and um, basically on Amazon it says gunmetal, but here it says gunmetal blue. Send me the wrong one again. Uh, reason I don't like it here, uh, <laughs> just because the hobby. But yeah, I used to have a war gaming company called Panzer Depot. Here, shut down sadly due to COVID, like permanently. It's very sad because now I have nobody to play games with. So honestly, I think ever since it closed, my hobby is kind of slowly dying out. But hopefully, uh, I'm planning on going to. Sweden for 
uh, college. Hopefully, I'm able to get a worker's visa there in a couple of years. And hopefully, there's more gaming there. Uh -huh. But, you know, I am in high school still, so that I don't know why I'm talking about this, because it's not important. Anyway, so uh, this is my artillery battery, one horse artillery. I think I had another uh, pounder. I, I, my my uh, eBay business is really kicking off, so I can afford to get more Perry stuff. Um, so, yeah. Also, if anyone is interested in uh, some Pavlovsky Grenadiers, um, yeah, if, if you're interested in uh, Pavlov Grenadiers, uh, I, I have a, my eBay listing in the description. Uh, I'm just selling my artillery, just because I don't want it. I'm getting replacement. And I am selling some Pavlov Grenadiers, because I just don't need them. I'm trying to move away f from uh, elite units. I'm trying to have more. Years. Anyway, I've been talking for way too long. Uh, sorry for wasting your time. Um, yeah, I'll try to make my next video shorter and sooner. Because I think, honestly, I just got to paint. Because I've noticed that my, I'm much happier when I do paint. So hopefully I can start my another Swiss Italian. Um, noticing that it's starting to become really tough for people to paint Swiss, which is great because they're very um, small army in the French army and um, I think that's all thanks to thanks to the Michigander who made a really cool painting video like just a showcase of his guys anyway <laughs> uh, if you liked the video which um, yeah if you do uh, feel free to subscribe it is free um, you know just might it just helps the channel out just helps you know me want to upload more videos I don't know if you want to show your support, just subscribe. I don't know. Uh, like the video. Anyway, have a great rest of your weekend. Um, thanks for uh, keeping up with my idiocracies. And uh, have a great day. Remember, don't bring a cab to a machine gun fight.